On this channel, I've tried to teach you guys all the things that I've learned over the years about how to write engaging main characters. But in this video, we're gonna talk about some tips from some bestsellers, and I'm gonna share some of my favorite quotes from bestselling authors on how they approach character. What's up guys, Michael Aran here with Author Level Up, helping you write world-class stories better and faster. And I create these videos because I believe that each of you has an inner Stephen King and you just need help unlocking it. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and ring that bell, ding, 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 if you want writing notifications whenever I have a new video. And this video is part of my How to Write Engaging Main Character series where I delve into virtually every aspect of how to write characters that your readers will love you for. And in this video, we're talking about my favorite quotes from best-selling authors on how they approach character. Because, you know, what I've, one thing I've learned over the years is if you want to learn how to do something, look at what the best-sellers are doing because they're probably doing a lot of things right. All right, so the first quote is, if a writer is true to his characters, they will give him his plot. Observations must play second fiddle to integrity. That's a quote from writer Phyllis Bottom. I love that quote, and I started with that quote because it embodies the spirit of this season, right, in terms of writing characters, and uh, it, it's just such a great quote. Another thing I like about the quote is that it's about discipline, right? It's about learning yourself and learning what works on the page and learning how when you show up to the page to push past a lot of the junk that's in your head and focus on getting your character on the page with laser-like clarity. And that takes integrity, in my opinion. Uh, integrity, not so much that you're being true to what you see in real life, but that you're being true to yourself. And I think that that's incredibly uh, important and something that um, you, you want to make sure that you're, you're doing as a writer, that you're, you're being true to yourself and that you're taking what you see in the real world and imparting that onto the page. Our second quote is, of course I base my characters partly on the people I know. One can't escape. But fictional characters are oversimplified. They're much less complex than the people one knows. That's a quote from writer Aldous Huxley. And this tip is along the lines of the things I talk about in my character tips video, which is a massive video that has all of the tips that I know <laughs> about writing characters. But what I like about Aldous Huxley's quote is that, you know, characters are oversimplified, right? Now, I talk in, in some other videos in this series about how you want to treat characters like real people. But at the end of the day, they're not real people. But the, the point is that they have to appear real. And the way that you do that is by oversimplifying the character. I know it seems kind of weird. And to create those engaging characters, you have to borrow and steal things from real life and impart them onto the page. See the theme here? Quote number three, each writer is born with a repertory company in his head. And as you get older, you become more skillful in casting them. That's from prolific writer Gore Vidal. They say you write the same characters over and over again. And I don't, I don't know if that's true, but it seems like it's true for me. And it seems like when you finally realize that, <laughs> you either burn out or that's when your writing starts getting really, really good. And I can tell you that there are definitely handfuls of uh, character types that I seem to keep coming back to again and again uh, in my fiction. And I don't know why. Is, is it maybe because they're multifaceted and I, it just seems like I can't quite get them correct every time? And so every time I'm doing it, it I'm just taking another swing at it. Not sure. Quote number four, as much as I can give of myself, I give of myself. There's no reason why not. And when I have to hide something, I let the character speak. That's from writer Isaac Basheva Singer. This is by far my favorite quote uh, in the video. And, and, and the reason for that is because we're not writing about the world. We're not really writing about other people. We're ultimately writing about ourselves. And our books really are viewpoints into who we are as people, right? So if you look at any book by any writer, particularly their first book, <laughs> you can see their hopes, you can see their dreams, you can see their fears. I mean, they're just laid out bare, right? And so I've always taken that approach. And so if you, if you read my fiction and if you like my fiction, then you probably like me. Um, and, and that's an important connection. And that scares some people, right? But I think that you should embrace it. Don't hold back. Always be yourself. Bring your true self to the page every time because that's how you build a writing career. Quote number five, the characters have their own lives and their own logic, and you have to act accordingly. That's another great quote from Isaac Bashevis Singer. And again, <laughs> this confirms what I've been saying 
all throughout this season, which is that you should treat characters like real people. And real people don't always make sense. Real people do things that are often irrational. And characters are the same way, especially if you're, you're writing into the dark like I am with no outline and you're just kind of you're exploring it and kind of letting, uh, letting the character do what they will. You'll find that the characters have minds of their own. Quote number six, characterization requires self-knowledge, insight into human nature. It is more than impersonation. That's a quote from Leon Sarmalian, author of the book Techniques of Fiction. If you haven't read Leon's book, I'll link to it in the video description so you can click on the link and grab your copy. And this quote confirms a lot of the things that I've been saying about being a student of people, right? You have to know how to take what you see in a person in real life and, and impart that onto the page. And the only way you can do that is to observe people, to watch them, see how they do things. When you watch movies, you know, uh, uh, pay very close attention to people's mannerisms and, and why they do the things they do and why they say the things that they say. And uh, take experiences from your life and, and speckle that into your fiction. And that's how you start writing good fiction. That's just, it's so fundamental. Quote number seven, remember, Plot is no more than footprints left in the snow after your characters have run by on their way to incredible destinations. That's from one of my favorite authors of all time, Ray Bradbury. And Ray's advice is simple. Plot is secondary to character. Character is why readers buy books. Character is why readers invest in series. And character is ultimately what gets the reader to buy the next book. Readers often won't remember the plot of a book but they will remember how your character made them feel. Next quote, when writing a novel, a writer should create living people. People, not characters. A character is a caricature. That's from Ernest Hemingway, and I'd say that that sums up everything I've been talking about in this season pretty nicely, right? So treat your characters like real people. Use things that real people do in real life. Use human psychology. Bring that onto the page. And you really can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong when you, when you take this approach. Now, the crazy thing about these quotes is that I had discovered them after I wrote most of the videos for this series. So it was literally just finding these quotes, and they just were confirming everything that I was saying. And it's really cool to, to think that writers throughout history have independently come to the same conclusions about how they do things. Now, we have a lot of differing opinions in the writing community, but if you look at a lot of the works of bestsellers, you know, you start to see that they all start saying substantially the same things. And it's really cool to arrive at that independently, personally, just for me, because it makes me feel like I'm on the right track and it gives me some validation that, you know, yeah, yeah, there is some merit to some of the things I'm saying on this channel. Now, I grabbed some of the quotes in this video from a book called Writers on Writing, which is a great little quote book um, that has lots of different quotes by writers in lots of different uh, areas of life, creativity, love, <laughs> writing characters, all sorts of things. And it's a great little book that I like to pull off my shelf from time to time to get some inspiration. So I'll drop a link to it in the video description. You can go check it out for yourself. And I'll also link to a great article that I found on the internet um, with some great quotes from writers that um, you know will, will brighten your day. And, and kind of lift you up. And don't forget to watch the rest of the videos in my How to Write Engaging Main Character series, where I delve into every aspect and all things character so that you can write amazing characters as well. So if this is your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Perfect.